Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be exploring Classic Science Chapter 4, Metals and metal Non-Metals. So, first, they talked about metals and non-metals. Some examples of metals can be alumina, bronze, steel, gold, alright? Some examples of non-metals can be Boron, car boron, carbon, silicon, phosphorus, ger germanium, arsenic, sulfur, and tellurium. Now, you don't need to worry about this. These are just names of elements. And elements, well, they are just the finest you can get any material into. Alright, let's move on to properties. Physical and um, physical and chemical which is down here but i'll show you that in a second first let's talk about physical now what are some physical properties of metals metals some physical properties can be metal metallic luster which is basically they are shiny this is only in pure state because sometimes um some shopkeepers make their materials into matte and all that so we don't want to get confused with that so that's why we have wrote pure substance then we've got hard they are hard then we've got they are malleable malleable meaning they can be bent and they can be molded into stuff they are ductile meaning they can be turned into a wire and gold is an example of that then you, they have got high melting points they've got good heat conductors they are good electricity conductors as well and they are sonorous meaning they can make sound and now, uh, physical properties of non-metals can be they're non-lustrous, they're non-malleable. We just talked about malleable meaning, molding them. Non-ductile meaning they don't, they can't become into wire, except for carbon fibers, which we do use to make wires. And uh, you know, there will be some exceptions in these. Non-sonorous meaning they don't make a sound when you hit them. Um, the one example can be silicon don't conduct heat and don't conduct electricity one example of don't conduct electricity um can be all of them but except for graphite graphite does conduct heat and electricity so that's why i wrote except for graphite all right then here we have got chemical things now if any of these burnt with oxygen they will create oxide and this is with both non-metals too all right then we've got metals metals um if you make two mg meaning two magnesium molecules plus two molecules i mean two atoms of oxygen will form what what will they form they will form two mg now two is just to balance things out so if you have let's take over here if you have two m if you only have mg plus o2 is equal to mg o yeah so what happens is that they both mix up to make that but we have got a two over there the two disappeared so we need a two now we can't really put a two over there that won't really make sense we want it to be in front of them so it will be two mg all right now there it says that there are two magnesiums as well so we need to put a two over there as well so now they are balanced out so that's why what do we use we use these for balancing if you don't understand this don't worry this is not really in your subject um slabers yet they are just a little bit out of subject but don't confuse yourself with them all right now now these when you mix them together they form magnesium oxide and when you make it of metals they are basic in nature all right we have learned about bases and acids in the um last class class seven so let's move on now on non -metal metals if you have sulfur sulfur is s plus O2, O2 meaning oxygen, is equal to SO2, sulfur dioxide, which is acidic in nature. All right, that's easy. So these become acidic in nature. Then if we have reaction with H2O, meaning water, metals from metal, hydrox 
um, metals form metal hydroxide and hydrogen. Metal hydroxide and hydrogen. What they the what do they form? Metal hydroxide. Now, now non metals don't react. Well, metal form metal hydroxide and the hydrogen gas. Non metals just don't react. If you have metal, Na meaning sodium, plus H two O meaning water. Then they're gonna make NaOH, meaning nitrogen. I mean sodium hydroxide plus H two, which is just a hydrogen gas. So here we've got the balancing things again. If you like, you can give it a go about what it means. But if you don't, don't worry about it. That's nothing you need to worry at the moment. Then we have got chemical quantity. Now, what are more? uh things of chemical now metals react with acids and produce what do they produce they produce metal soil the salt they produce metal salt plus hydrogen gas all right then you've got generally non metals don't react with acids so meaning when me metals do react with acids non metals don't all right non metals don't react with acids. Now, uh, reacting with bases, if you have metals and non metals, metals form hydrogen gas, while non metals form salts. Alright, easy? Now, what is the displacement reaction? Let's take a look at what this is. Now, displacement reaction. M more reactive metals displace less reactive metals from the metallic metal compounds in a water solution. Let's make and let's break this and understand this. If you have PQR, all right, these are some substances we have got is equal to P plus RQ. Now, why did that Q go to R? Well, in this case, let's take R as the more reactive one, meaning more reactive element or compound all right then p and q are going to be less reactive so what happens this r will take this little part of q with it all right to get this one plus this little one so p plus r q so more reactive one takes the less reactive one with it all right let's review everything quickly Metals, aluminium and bronze and steel. Non-metals, boron, carbon, silicon, more like that. Properties of um, metals can be metallic, luster, hard, malleable, ductile, high melting point, good heat conductor, good electricity conductor, and sonorous. While properties of physical is non-lustral, non-malleable, non-ductile, except for carbon fibers. Non sonorous so silicon is a good example. Don't conduct heat, don't collect, conduct electricity, except for graphite does both of them, which is a non metal as well. Alright, then we have got chemical, a more chemical physical. Sorry, more chemical properties can be when burnt with oxygen, they form oxide, both non metals too. So both of them do that. Reaction with water, metals form metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas. Non metals don't react at all. Then chemical continue, com chemical properties continued. Metals react with acids and produce metal salt and hydrogen gas. Generally, non metals don't react with acids react um reacting with bases metals form hydrogen gas when reacting with bases non-metals form salts when reacting with places reactive displacement reaction is basically um the more reactive one taking away the less reactive smaller part all right easy so that's how this whole thing works with that we have finished this chapter hope you enjoyed hope you learned something new and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye